Frank was very curious about Maria. Such a pretty girl. As she had joined the dance club, he did too, thinking that he could get closer to her there. Maria was just curious about boys, but also concerned about getting too near to them. They seemed so strange, and her attraction to them seemed a little scary. She had heard lots of stories about boys doing wrong things with girls, and that is why she joined the club. It was a reasonably safe place to be around boys, as it was always chaperoned by teachers, and parents were usually there as well. They both joined the club for purely social reasons and learning to dance was an extra benefit, a process that would provide them both with social graces acceptable to all. Of course, this club was popular. The kids who belonged to the club learned a way to come together with others, and it gave them a sense of ease and confidence, and the most popular people seemed to be there. What makes such a club popular is not that it brings boys and girls together, but that it provides them each with a relatively safe and effective role that they can play in their interaction. Every member accomplishes something of value in their planned and formalized dancing as couples. They each have something to do and have good reason to trust that their dance partner will do their part of the dance. The chance for being social success in, within the club is very high. The club rules were simple. It had its dress code and it had its welcome message to parents that had to be signed before a student was allowed to join. It had dance instruction for members before the meetings, assuring that members were able to take part effectively. The cost of joining was low and the result was very high. Of course, teenagers would join it. It was one of the first priorities for younger teens, higher than athletics. The value of being with others who are somehow like you is not going to go away, but will mature even as teenagers grow to be adults. There are many adult organizations that are based on mutual valued activities. Many religious organizations attract membership due to shared purpose, and there are specific social organizations such as the Elks or Masons. There is value in realizing that these opportunities are available or can even be initiated if they are not immediately there. Others, those who would share in the benefits, can be enlisted to take part in bringing such purposeful organizations into being. The requirements for doing this have already been presented. It is finding something that is valued by many. They can be enlisted if the value they expect to gain is greater than the cost in their time and effort that is needed to bring the organizations into being. Then it is a matter of communication. The first is to those who will take part in the initiating effort. This is a communication of cost and benefit supporting their decision to take part in the effort. The second is to take note of their prospective commitments and to communicate this to other potential members, that they will not be alone in their efforts but will have the support and active participation of others in their continuing efforts. Note that this is just the same as is needed for any other organized effort. It is the result of good planning that involves serving the interests of other people. It involves supporting their wants and needs with sensitivity to other potential uses that they may have for their time and effort. It is your own caring for others that will make your joint efforts attractive to other potential members. There is also the complement to this understanding you will also feel attraction to those who appear to care deeply for you. People become attractive when they honor your wants and needs, and they are willing to support your use of your own time and energy in meeting these. In a sense, this is part of growing into an effective adult. It is realizing that you can accomplish great things when you work with others instead of focusing on what you do as an individual. It is in realizing that you have corporate potentials that far exceed anything that you might do alone. This includes the intelligence of joining with other people in established organizations, a realization that many such groups are already formed and seeking active members. It includes realization that the cost of joining is usually low relative to the value accomplished. It also includes the realization of other and greater potentials for initiating and enlisting others in new organizations that are better suited to your individual needs and wants. 
but these involve a much greater personal cost. It is not that one is much better than the other, but that human intelligence and your personal passions should be your guide. You, as the active human being, will be valued by others in all your cooperative endeavors, as a corporation only does what the people do as members.